Hi friends, it's Queen Alita. I'm going to be sharing a word with you guys today based on what God has been speaking to me about lately. It's just been really strong on my heart. Um, usually I share dreams. Um, I have dreams pretty much every night and the Lord speaks me through them and he will have me come on and share dreams. That's if you're new, just in case you're new to this channel, just to give you some background. But today it's not based on a dream. Um, so welcome if you're new and welcome back if you have been here before. I also just want to point you guys to the fact that um, some of you may be getting unsubscribed automatically by YouTube. I usually don't go into the whole please subscribe, like, comment, share thing. You know, this is all God led. If God leads you to watch the video, you watch the video, right? Um, but I know that some of you are being removed automatically. Um, so if you find that you're not able to find my videos anymore, you can just uh, check your subscriptions. Um, and of course, be led by the Lord because sometimes he may be allowing that because he wants you in a different place, maybe listening to someone else, maybe listening directly to him and him alone. Um, just always make sure that you're in his will with regards to that. Okay, so, sorry guys, fiddling with my hair here. Um, before I get into it, um, just if you are new, it's just it's so important that you take anything, especially a prophetic message, um, before the Lord, just for confirmation, if you really believe that it's meant for you, it's like really resonating in your spirit and you feel convicted, ask God for confirmation because he certainly will do that. It's so important that you have your own relationship with him. That's the main thing. You know, you need to be able to hear from him for yourself and not only through other people all the time. And for some of you, this word is confirmation of what God has already spoken to you about. I still encourage you to go back to him, get your confirmation, well, not confirmation, strategies from him, anything that he is speaking to you about regarding the word. Maybe you have some questions, take them to him. Okay, so um, yesterday I posted a video called You Gotta Go or You Have Got To Go. <laughs> and um, this is kind of tied into that because the Lord has been highlighting um, the numbers uh, triple one and triple four to me a lot in the last few months. And the triple four, you know, I know what God is speaking to me about, um, you know, it's, it's, it's about movement. It's about being where he wants us to be, where you're going to make an impact. Um, but let me just start from the beginning so I can get to that. So I'm just looking at my notes. Um, so I just want to start with the number 11, right? Because like I said, I've been seeing triple ones, but I'm going to start with 11 because that's kind of where the foundation of this triple one is. So the number 11 normally represents um, just being out of, it's, it's just disorder, right? And chaos. Um, it can also represent transition. So what the Lord was showing me is that some of you have been out of order. You've been out of God's order and not in a way that... Um, that you've been sinning and living um, a life that is not pleasing to him. No, but there's a path. There's, there's a place that the Lord needs to get you to, your promised land. But you've had to go through wilderness. And so therefore you were taken out of order. You would have gone directly there, but you had to be taken out of that order in order for God to refine you. So God allowed you to be out of the plan to move forward into your promised land so that he could refine you because he knows and we know this that there's certain things that we cannot take to the promised land we gotta remove some things that we picked up in egypt right and undo certain ways of thinking certain ways of being so he's allowed you to be out of his divine order for your life just so he could refine you he used whatever the enemy was trying to do in your life to derail you to refine you you know the word says that god makes everything work together for our good so even as the enemy is attacking and he's doing certain things in your life that feel like they're derailing you from God's plan, that feel like they're causing delays, God is using that. You know, nothing happens without going through God. Everything that happens is God filtered. Nothing gets past him. So if you find, find yourself in really intense circumstances and you know that you are consecrated to the Lord or you know you're on the right path, there's certain things that God is trying to do and it's, it helps if you get on board with him quickly because it could prolong your process just like uh, the israelites in the wilderness you know most of them ended up just dying in the wilderness because they just weren't getting on board but if you get on board you get out of that wilderness quicker so 
that's the 11 in this message and then now we add another one to it and we've got one 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 and what the lord revealed to me he actually brought to my mind the meaning of the number three which is divine fullness and perfection and then he spoke to me and he said that's three ones and three being the main components of that you are coming to the end or you are at the end of that place where you've been out of order and God is going to set you back on the path towards your promised land. And that's where the number four comes in. Four is either a door, an open door. So God is going to open a door for you to be able to get back on that path. It also represents the earth and material creation. So then I start to think of direction, you know, the earth. Like which direction do I go? North, south, east, west. Then God is going to bring direction. And of course, um inheritance of course inheriting the earth so inheriting your promised land this this always just makes me smile just the way the numbers just fall together and that triple four for me is also a completion it's, it's like this reinforcement of god is definitely doing this it's established it is the the fullness of time for this to happen has come so whenever I see numbers and threes, I always get the sense of the fullness of a thing because the number three is divine fullness and perfection, right? And remember that also the number three is not only divine fullness and perfection, full stop, it's related to elevation, to promotion. So that's why it's important that you understand God is getting you back on your path to your promised land because there you will be promoted there you will be elevated that's why just like yesterday's word i had said you know a prophet is without honor in their own hometown some of you have to physically go where god has told you to go because that's where you will get the honor that's where he wants to lift you up and exalt you and um, elevate you and promote you right you will not get that in your hometown and then for some of you it's a spiritual direction that he's trying to give you you have to shift there's a move there's a, a, a spiritual mindset shift that you have to do um, may not be physical but it's that shift that you have to make and go in the direction that God wants you to go um, go in on a spiritual level is what I mean and then the Lord gave me Joshua 1 verse 1 to 9 to read to you guys today it's a lovely part of scripture and this is right after Moses died right so after the death of Moses the servant of the Lord oh, let me read that properly after the death of Moses the servant of the Lord the Lord said to Joshua son of Nun Moses Moses aid <laughs> Moses my servant is dead now then, you and all these people get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I am about to give to them, to the Israelites. I will give you every place where you set your foot as I promised Moses. Your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon and from the great river, the Euphrates, all the Hittite country to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Praise God for that. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. Listen, a lot of you need to understand that your obedience, your conviction impacts so many people. And if you choose a different path, you're impacting those people in a negative way. But if you choose God's path, you are impacting those people in the way that they need to be impacted in a good way. God's plans for their lives. Um, let me not say it like that. Um, it's all intertwined. We're all connected and we're not operating, you know, as like in a silo. You know, we're not, we're not like individuals not connected to each other. So when we make certain decisions, when we choose to follow God or not to, we are impacting lives no matter what the decision is, right? So I just wanted to stop and reiterate that I felt led to and know that as you move forward, God is not going to forsake you. He's already prepared the land for you. And we know it's not going to be easy. You're still going to have to fight some giants and you're still going to have to take your territory little by little. But listen, it's there. That's that's where you're going to be in your promise. Um, where did I end off? Verse 7. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law 
my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Excuse me. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. The word of the Lord is important. We have to live in such a way that God's word is seen in our actions, in how we live our life. We cannot one day um, be convicted in God's word and then the next day act differently, act in opposition to that. This is what God is saying to you. You got to meditate on a day and night. You got to let the thing just be a part of you. Keep this book of the law always on your lips, right? This means that it's always on your mind because for it to come out on, of your lips, it always has to be on your mind, in your mind, and you have to live it out, right? Verse 9 says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Some of you may be experiencing a little bit of fear or a lot of fear because there's comforts that we we experience in this life and you know the comforts that i'm referring to are very um they have no substance because they're not of god they're worldly comforts it's if i stay in this space at least i have this i have a roof over my head i have this if i go where god is telling me to go i don't know what's going to happen you know um there may be so much uncertainty and maybe other things may be causing you to be afraid. And the Lord just wants to set you free from that fear. He wants you to go forth and be great and do the things that you were created to do. Um, don't allow the devil to hold you back. I hear the Lord saying, do not allow him to hold you back um, any longer. Your time to move into your promise is here. Grab a hold of it. And like I said, this word is not for everyone. It's for whoever is at this point that I just spoke about in this video. Um, so take it to the Lord if you believe it's for you. And friends, that is the word for today. I really pray that it's blessed whoever it was meant for. I will see you guys in the next video. Always remember that God is a good father. He loves you so much because you, my friend, are so deeply special to him. Your majesty.